they're going to be sticking to that Windwalker, Death Knight, Mez, and Trill, the devastating duo. Dilly and Cyfoxy, of course, going to be playing the Jungle Cleave with Milkman in the back line, healing them. And I'm interested to see how this matchup plays out. Our Method Orange going to do hit and run. It looks like they're just going to be running right in. Sidu leading the charge with his team, and he's playing that Spirit Link talent, which redistributes the damage to his whole team. Sidu is going to be playing very aggressive. The crowd control has been good on Sidu so far, but Sidu's managed to catch up. It's very important. Basically, look at Sidu and look at Milkman. If Sidu is on top of Milkman, Milkman is losing. This is going to be very dangerous in this position for Milkman. They've already fought so many Koans as well. They get the human racial. They still have a very good connection. The knock even helps them. Trill and Mez still have 100% uptime. Pre-barrier on the touch of death, but they're trying to get this set up. They'll try and get the stun before that human oh. uh, comes off. We see the pain suppression, but they're doing oh. so much damage. Full <laughs> Mez also dying. Heat shakers, but Mel and dies first. Cross kill. Trill still has the touch of karma. Sidu with their spirit link. He needs to reapply it. Touch of karma over onto Cyfox. See, this game has been so close, but it looks like Methadorin should have the advantage in the 2v2 set. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see. Cyfoxy is just trying to stay alive as long as he can. They land the stun. Does he have a trap? Does Dilly have the trap? Doesn't look like he does just yet. And I think ultimately Cyfoxy's cat does not have nine lives in this situation. <laughs> He's trying his best just to have one, but Trill is hunting him down. Cyfoxy will be falling, but that was what a that game. was the most what damage I've game. seen from <laughs> both these teams at the same time. Like, what was well, that? It, it was it absolutely uh, insane. Uh, talent and unholy has that and frost doesn't so and unholy has more interrupts so they've got more lockdown on the priest that usually has to hard cast with the shaman purging his power with shield so i think it makes sense all around for him to be unholy let's see if cdu is gonna all in this game yeah i mean frosty definitely does a ton of burst damage but it's also a ton of spread damage like a lot of that pillar damage is cleave whereas you've got the necrotic strikes of course of the unholy which is just so devastating for a disciplined priest and now we see the whole team of course charging in adaptation already forced onto cdu though so good start coming out of cast his angels if milkman can get behind the pillar here we see the shining force coming out from him as well knocking the entire team behind the pillar excellent start for casca all right so there's zwen the tiger and the valkyrie both those talents are very long cooldowns all in talents that you see from a windwalker and an unholy death knight and that's what they're trying to do but milkman has great positioning on this map he's abusing it perfectly sidu can't get on top of him that's what i was trying to say in the last game you see sidu is on the opposite side of the pillar that's way more fortunate for milkman they've got him locked down mez is in trouble trill is also dipping low they go for a defensive wyvern unfortunately break Breaking there, uh, Mez trades out Icebound Fortitude. Milkman needs to get away from Sidu. Sidu jumps right on top of him. They grip Milkman right next to Sidu. The purges are going to come crashing in. Sidu is mashing that purge button harder than anything. He's going to Voodoo Totem trying to deny a cast. Sidu gets bashed away. Milkman needs to get away around the corner, but he gets stunned up. He trinkets. Line of sight, Sidu. Now, will Sidu be able to get back there in time? Adaptation is coming up in three seconds. Dilly has two more seconds to land a trap. Now, Adaptation is available for Sidu. He's going to break out of this long crowd control. Milkman needs to the land of fear is he going to be able to get it in time he gets gripped on the shadow men he's going to knock them away himself and get around the corner great kiting from milkman this game yeah great kiting from him but this is the stun he has no break uh. for this this could be kill milkman dropping low do they have the follow up for the fury yes they do and they will get the kill oh. Oh, it's on shield. On oh. He's kiting around the pillar. Penance walks into Sidu, though. What is Purchase going on? Be able to come out here. Can they get the kill? The, the entire side? team of Method Orange is dying. They're trying oh. to they get the kill. But it's definitely not over. Sidu still struggling. Spirit Link should stabilize their health. Though Cyfoxy now caught up in the stun. Once again, Method Orange narrowly scraped the victory. We thought that was going to be another Method Orange 2% there. <laughs> that looked like one of them for a second. But you got to give it up to Milkman. That was some of the best kiting I think we really have ever seen. It all comes down to letting Sidu's adaptation proc twice. If they don't let it proc a second time, they will most likely win. And I mean, at this point, Milkman actually does a little bit of a mistake, but he can't really do anything about it. Either he walks into Mez there and then doesn't kite Cyfoxy, and they might be able to survive and kill Mez. Instead, he runs to Sidu. Sidu gets a chance to actually heal Mez and has Purge available for Milkman. So, Milkman. Getting some real competition. What on earth is going through someone like Milkman's head right now, having to heal? damage like this having to kite like that well i remember when i met cdu it was actually very different uh, at blizzcon a couple of years ago or three or four years ago now these days jesus i'm getting old but uh cdu when he was doing it he was playing the dampening composition so this is a completely different threat that milkman's dealing with this all aggressive shaman play style that of course method orange love to play this season we can see they're actually changing up their strategy now they're putting all their pressure over onto cdu and i really like this adaptation to deny those purges Zika was talking about this is when the tiger is out the valkyrie is flying this is the all-in burst damage cooldowns from method orange and Mel 
Milkman is doing a decent job deflecting. He's going to need to pre-barrier and then paint suppression. His team has got a lot of damage, though. They're just killing the entire team. He uses the paint suppression. Will it be enough to survive the stun? Triple bursting. They're trying to buy Milkman the time he needs. He hangs on at 1%. 1%. Milkman hangs on with a trap perfectly oh. tied, but he gets gripped into the middle of the map. He knocks him away, but he's got nothing left. That was... The Method Orange are going to crush him. That was a huge mistake from Milkman. When you have wrapped you up, you cannot afford to cast Penance. You deny yourself the shields. That was such a big misplay. He should have just casted the Shadow Man. He's not going to get the ticks anyways. They're going to get interrupted. And that, you just can't afford that mistake. If he got a few more Raptors off, he was actually line of sighting Cedar at the end there. It looked like he might live, but Method Orange with a dominating 3-0. And it, it comes down to 10 seconds.